The suffering I endure is, indeed, the retribution for the sins you have committed. And this is the consequence of being a founder, there is no way to escape it. Even among reckless people, I am extremely cautious. And even among those who are asleep, I wish to be the one who remains awake, like a horse that outpaces the herd. Anxiety and fear arise from death. For one who has attained complete freedom through love, how could there be anxiety and fear? The mind is easily agitated, easily confused, difficult to guard, and difficult to restrain. Furthermore, the mind is hard to control. It is lightly swayed and runs away according to desires. Only those with wisdom can correct things. The mind is hard to see and subtle. Those who are aware of this kind of mind in the morning manage it well. Those who manage their mind well will find peace. Health is the greatest gift, and contentment is the greatest wealth. Faith is the most precious offering, and nature is the greatest happiness. Reflect, practice, and think deeply, so that your words and actions are true. Thoughtful, self-restrained, and follow the truth, and your name will shine brighter day by day. All beings desire happiness, however, those who take away their happiness through violence, even if they seek their own happiness, will not attain the happiness of the light. If the body has no wounds, it will not suffer harm from tools. For those who do not commit evil, how could evil invade them? Even if a foolish person serves a virtuous person, diligently throughout their life, they will not know true blessings, just as a spoon does not know the taste of beans. A wise person, however, will understand true blessings, even if they serve a virtuous person for only a short time. Just as the tongue quickly knows the taste of salt, one is not learned simply by speaking many words. One who is free from hatred and fear, and is calm, is learned. There is an eightfold path that leads to the cessation of suffering, transcending suffering and its causes. By taking refuge in the three jewels, you will attain unsurpassed joy in the highest refuge, freeing yourself from all suffering. First, see things correctly. The world is covered in ignorance, and some people see, but do not perceive. Wickedness and doubt block the way. Just as few birds escape from nets, attaining peace of mind is not easy. Do not look at the faults of others, nor criticize their wrongful deeds. Always reflect on yourself and know what is right and wrong. Just as the water in a deep pond is clear and reflective, the wise hear the truth and their hearts become peaceful. Next, always contemplate. Make your own mind your teacher. Do not seek another teacher besides your mind. Those who make their mind their teacher will attain true wisdom. Third, speak rightly. Even if it is the first word, if it is not righteous, it is useless. One righteous word is a word of life that can bring peace to the heart. Those who do not keep even one teaching and tell lies do not consider the next life, and thus commit all kinds of sins. Do not speak harsh words. Those words will surely return to you. Harm and disaster will come and go, and the rod of punishment will fall upon your head. Fourth, perform different actions. Those who truly seek the teachings will receive correct teachings and thereby transcend death. If one does not indulge oneself and gains much enlightenment, they will become pure, like a horse in a race that outruns other horses. Fifth, live righteously. Just as fragrant wood does not resist the wind, the scent of the lotus is the same. The fragrance of those who follow the teachings always spreads, surpassing both favorable and unfavorable winds. The fragrance of a good person can be smelled wherever they go. Sixth, be pure and diligent. Even those who were once indulgent will later illuminate the world and their heart by deeply striving and avoiding laziness. Like the moon breaking through the clouds. Seven, think rightly. Always guard your mind. Prevent evil deeds. Restrain anger and resentment. Discard evil thoughts. Contemplate deeply and think of the path. My life is peaceful and free from resentment and anger. Even though people resent me, I move forward without resentment. Resentment is not resolved by resentment, and in the end, peace cannot be achieved. Only through patience can resentment be resolved. This is an eternal truth. 8. Stabilize your mind. Do not be angered like the earth, 
Do not be swayed like the mulberry tree. And be as pure as water. For those who do so are free from the cycle of birth and death. The foolish are greedy for gain and chase after vain fame. In the household, they indulge in jealousy and constantly seek offerings from others. The foolish boast, I have children and wealth, but do not boast. Even I am not my own, so how can children or wealth be mine? For those who cannot sleep, summer nights are long, and for those in need, even nearby places feel distant. For the foolish, the cycle of rebirth is long, yet they do not know the truth. People are originally pure, but it is the causes and conditions that bring blessings and misfortunes. Just as paper near incense takes on its fragrance, and the rope that handles fish smells fishy, people are gradually influenced without realizing it. Do not take small evils lightly. Even if disaster does not come, water droplets, though small, will eventually fill a large vessel. All evils accumulate and create great calamities. Those with clouded eyes of wisdom are absorbed in desires and enjoy conflict. Those with clear eyes of wisdom guard worry and diligence like treasures. People argue that their own opinions are right and others' opinions are wrong. Moreover, they deny what others claim as truth. The foolish suffer and struggle, saying, this is my son, this is my wealth. But when I am gone, whose son and wealth will they be? Just as there are beautiful flowers without fragrance, the words of those who do not practice are plausible, but do not bear fruit, like a tree without fruit. Concentrate your thoughts in one place, do not let desires move you, and do not create the suffering of scorching iron. Dung in your mouth and throat. When the mind is already stable and one's speech and actions are righteous, one will realize joy from righteousness and the mind and actions will be at peace. Before the fruits of evil ripen, those who commit evil may still be happy. But once they ripen, they will ultimately encounter misfortune. Those who are not enslaved by desires, who do not enjoy hating others, and who possess a broad mind, not bound by good and evil, are free from suffering. Each person must make their mind their teacher, cherish their mind, and not seek a teacher outside. If each person makes their mind their teacher, they will gain true wisdom. If I commit evil, I will defile myself, and if I do good, I will purify myself. Purity and defilement depend on me, and no one can purify me. Evil deeds are easy to commit and bring suffering, while good deeds bring peace, but are difficult to perform. Those who contemplate deeply and have attained enlightenment, immerse themselves in meditation liberate themselves from worldly desires and experience the joy of peace. Even the gods envy them. I call those who control their rising anger, like stopping a moving vehicle a true charioteer. Others merely hold the reins. I must rely on myself. There is no place to depend on except myself, and there is nothing better than the strength of my integrity. Those who have learned little are like old oxen plowing fields their bodies may grow fat but their wisdom does not increase. Those who do not lie, speak only truthful words, according to the way, and do not speak recklessly to anger others or saints. When a foolish person calls themselves foolish, they are no longer foolish. When a foolish person calls themselves wise, they have indeed reached the height of foolishness. If you have thoughts that lead to a good and righteous life, but you have not found a wise and sincere friend, then go alone, like an elephant walking alone in the forest. As a king who discards a conquered country as if it were an old shoe. The mind is light and easily swayed, excitable, difficult to guard, and difficult to control. However, the wise straighten their mind like a bow maker, straightens an arrow. Those who act seriously, speak gently, have a stable mind, and are not swayed by worldly temptations are called calm people. Beautiful flowers may lack fragrance, just as well-spoken words may not bear fruit. Those who are close to the truth sleep peacefully, and their hearts are joyful and clear. In the teachings of the Buddha, the eyes of wisdom naturally open. Those who commit evil will regret twice once in this world, and once in the next. They will suffer twice once from the thought of committing evil.
and once from the thought of punishment. Therefore, under no circumstances should one commit evil. If you do not rise when you should, rely only on youth. Do not work hard, are lazy, weak of heart, and cowardly like a doll, you will always wander in darkness.